What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more My Hero Ultra Impact. And today, we're going to talk about all of the new features that were added to the game in the latest update following the maintenance. We have a lot of things to talk about, such as the advancement limit breaks. We have new EX3 auto skills, as well as character dupes are now a thing. But before y'all get mad and upset, we're going to talk about it and explain it here in today's video. So... Let's just take a look at a character real quick, but first let's take a look at the news as well to kind of see what they were adding for the update. So we have the new DX Peace Route in Ability Boards. So a new DX Peace Route has been added to the Ability Boards. The DX Peace Route is currently the only place where you can unlock the unique EX Auto Skills, which each character has a unique set of EX Auto Skills that you can reroll for. And you can also higher advanced level up limit your character as well. The max limit being for ADV is now higher. The current limit that it was at was 5,000 for HP, 1,000 for power, and 100 for speed. That has been upped after you unlock the peace route for this. So the DX peace route is a new peace route in ability boards that can be unlocked after clearing main quest 1-5 normal. DX piece route spaces can be unlocked with character pieces and characters DX pieces when received obtaining duplicates of that character. Not only are there usual unlock level limit and all stats up, but there is an unlock unique EX auto skill that an advanced level up limit break space uh, that are currently only available in DX piece routes for characters obtainable in the gear shop if you have the relevant character you can receive DX pieces from purchasing the character again. So that goes for things like, you know, the the UA metal shop, the VE tower, stuff like that. So you can actually repurchase the characters again. Not sure if it would have worked for the climax battle all for one. We won't know until that comes back. But I do believe all of the current shops, such as the VE tower and UA shop, you can repurchase the characters again to get those DX pieces, which you do need a few of them. But you don't need a lot of DX pieces, actually, which is where it, it gets a little bit easier. So. Unlocking the fifth space in the DX piece route will enhance the cut-in battle animation that plays during skill chains. Oh, that's actually interesting. I did not know that. Additionally, unlocking the ninth space will add a plus mark to the character's rarity displayed on the screen. So we're not getting quite the PUR rarity. We're getting UR plus. <laughs> we're getting UR plus ultra, but with a plus symbol. <laughs> it's okay. I was hoping for PUR, but it's all right. Uh, unique EX auto skills can be unlocked by using pieces as well. So when it says pieces and then when it says DX pieces, there's a new item in the game. You know, you have your character pieces, which you unlock the piece route that you obtain from the shop. But there are also DX pieces, which are separate items. You don't they're not like the same item at all. I was actually speculating that they would add a brand new item. And I was actually correct that they weren't going to use the same character pieces. They kind of did, but they kind of didn't. I knew that they were going to probably add a brand new item type of thing for pieces but i wasn't sure how they want to do it but this is how they're doing it so you can use normal character pieces to unlock certain parts of the board then you have dx pieces to unlock other certain aspects of the board as well uh so we have raising the advanced limit so here we go max hp will become 9,000, previously 5,000. max power will become 1800 previously 1000 and max speed will become 180 previously 100 and then also starting from the 51st advanced level up the number of items necessary per level will be three instead of one okay interesting interesting uh you must complete uh 418 and advanced level up available in order to unlock advanced level up limit break yeah 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 yada yada so there is the advanced level up stuff let's just take a peek real quick let's actually go to my gear shop and let's purchase one of the characters that i that i have right let's go to ua high and let's just purchase a character here uh let's see where well we'll get the ochako here with three thousand purchase the ochako and as you can see, this will most likely give us a DX. So yeah, there we go. This is kind of what it's like in the shop. This is also what it will be like for summons as well. So you get a DX piece of the Ochako instead of character pieces. Uh, so you get a DX piece, which is completely separate. And then you also still get your stars. That's a good thing to note. You still get your stars. That is not being taken away from you. You still get stars. Even for summons, you still get your stars on top of the DX pieces for duplicates. So the way this would work in summons, if you summon a duplicate UR, SR, R character, you're going to get your stars plus one DX piece for that character. So now that we got my uh, DX piece for Ochako, let's go to the ability board here. Let's find my Ochako. If I can find the right one, because there's like a billion different Ochakos. Uh, I believe it. 
it? Is it this one? I think it's this one. I believe. <laughs> yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, so this is the DXP strat. So you're going to go to your change route. You have your basic route, your piece route, and then your DXP route. So the way this is going to work is you have your first one being your advanced level up limit break. So your very first DX piece that you're going to obtain is going to unlock your advanced level up limit break. So you're going to get that 9,808 and 180 stat buffs to those respective stats. And then also, as you can see here, it does still require other pieces. It does still require the original character pieces, but DX pieces are only needed in certain areas. So there's the unlock level. There's that one. There's another unlock. So you're going to need one DX for the advanced level up, and then you're going to need another DX for the second unlock level limit here. So that's going to be another 10 levels for that character. Then you're going to have this one. That's also pieces. This is also more pieces here. Then you have these pieces and the final DX piece here is unlock unique EX auto skills. So you're going to need a total of three DX character pieces for every character in order to fully unlock the DX piece route. So in order to get this specific auto, unique EX auto skill, you're going to need a total of three and you're going to need quite a bit more character pieces to then fill out the rest of the board. So if I want to unlock this one, let's go ahead and unlock the advanced level up limit break. Let's actually go take a peek at what our characters look like. As you can see on the characters here, the ADV is now changed. I think it was originally gold. Now it's silver to kind of represent the, li li the limit break. So there were more assets added for ADV to the games here. So let's go ahead and take a look for my Ochako. Where is she at? She is. I know she's here somewhere. There she is right there. So if I want to level up her, her stats and stuff, let's go ahead and go to level up and let's find her again. <laughs> oh man, too many characters to go through here. So there we go. So you can see now my stats are now 9,800 and 180 and required to do that. So there's the 50. So when you hit the max right there, it's going to bring you to the max limit, the max level up for advancement that it previously was. So if you want to do that, there you go. And then after the fact, you can then get more. And I, I kind of want to do it, but I kind of don't because I don't want to waste these items. But for you guys, I'm going to waste them. I'm going to do it. Let's just do it. <laughs> and let's see what this actually does. So as a result of achieving the unnecessary character will now have cool visual effects, blah, blah, blah. You can now perform advanced level up. As you can see here, 117 barely gets me to 9,000. I think it takes 120 to then go from 5,000 to the 9,000, the 1,000, the 1,800, right? So let's do that there, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm not doing that, but it does take a little bit more of those items to then go from the, the advanced level up to the limit break advanced level up there. So what happens if I actually, what if I just do, hold on, let me reset. And what if I do one of like each? What would my ADV? Oh, it takes three. Oh, so each time you hit the plus, it goes up by three now. So that's what they meant. So, okay, I understand. So each one part goes up by three now. Okay. So let's take a look at what Ochako looks like now. As you can see, my ADV is now red in comparison to something like my Aizawa here being silver. And I believe once you fully max out the ADV, that's going to change to a gold. And then also once you actually get the character fully done in the DX piece route, the rarity right here where the SR is, is going to like where the UR and stuff like that, all that's going to have like a little plus icon next to it, which is, uh, which is interesting. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not like upset about this update. It's really not a bad update in my opinion. So let's just take a look at the piece route again. So again, you have your normal route, then you have your piece route here, then you have your DX piece route. The DX piece route, basically added dupes for characters to the game previously you technically really didn't rely on dupes of characters at all essentially dupes of characters all they did was give you stars stars were still farmable in the game so it's not like they were entirely necessary to actually pull a lot of characters but there were no real dupe system type of thing for characters what this did is basically add a dupe system but you really, to max it out, you really only need four dupes. The initial one, and then three additional dupes to max out a character with this DX piece route included, right? So that's how that's really going to go. I am very happy that they kept the stars included when you pull dupes. That way it's not, I felt like if they did like remove that, that would have been incredibly 
<laughs> insane to do, but they did not do that. They kept the stars when pulling dupes, which I find great. Here's the thing. I know a lot of people are going to be like, they just added dupes. Now I got to do all of this extra stuff. I got to summon more. I understand, but you got to understand as well for 99% of this game, this board will not matter. This board, you can complete 99% of the content climax battle pretty much aside. You, this board is not needed. You don't necessarily need to. Now, if you want to compete, quote unquote, in arena PvP, then I yeah, you, that's I guess more relevant a little bit. But arena, in my opinion, isn't like hyper competitive. It's not meant to be hyper competitive. It's just a quick little hey, do ten per day, have a little fun here and there while on the on the bus ride and stuff like that, right? So, you know, it's I don't know. I don't this this is a nice addition in my opinion. It does help characters unlock their potential even further uh, yes it does add dupes to the game but again dupes were pretty much useless before like if i pulled summer ochako twice it's like okay i got stars but that, that kind of makes me feel like oh well you know it's not really useful now dupes are a little bit more useful to where you not only are getting the stars you're now also getting pieces for the dx board to then unlock those characters even further so I think that this is an overall good update. I understand some grievances people will have with this update, but I do think it's an overall good one, not only because it's not a 100% necessary requirement in order to complete a lot of the content in the game, but it also just adds the factor that dupes of characters are not totally useless at this point. Again, my point being, yeah, you got stars from pulling a dupe, but it kind of felt like still useless to pull a dupe of a character now they have a little bit more you know reason to pull a dupe now you have a little bit more enjoyment of pulling a dupe to then you know oh my character's not you know i'm not oh i, I just got my third piece now i can unlock my unique ex auto skill oh boom I, I you know i feel a little bit more excited pulling a dupe at this point than i did before uh so that's just me let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below again you need three DX pieces. You need a lot more actual pieces here. So 40 plus another 40. So 80 plus another 50. That uh, was at 130. And then that's a DX. Uh, 130, 20, 210. And then what is that? Uh, 300. And then 400. So that's an additional 400 character pieces. I do feel like that's a little much. I wish that was a little lower personally. But I, under I kind of understand why it's a little higher because, again, you're unlocking your character's limits even further. Plus, what this does is UR characters now go to level 130, SRs go to level 120, and Rs go to level 110. So your levels actually go up, which means your stats increase and all that sort of stuff. So, I mean, it's still it's a, it's a nice addition to the game. I don't feel like this is like absurdly stupid i don't feel like this is absurdly gonna ruin the game i don't i don't think it's gonna ruin the game in the slightest if anything i feel like it makes people feel a little better about pulling a duplicate of a character yeah it kind of sucks that you know it does add dupes to the game for the most part but again essentially dupes before were useless now they're a little bit more useful to people as well got hiccups who i'm sorry but with that, again, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below. ADV, the ADV being leveled up as well to 9,880. Do you guys like that? I feel like a, more stats, the better, right? So that ADV limit break idea is actually really cool. What do you guys think of the DX piece? Again, I think it's okay. I don't think it's absurdly, like, I don't think it's absurd. I think it's a reasonable update to the game. Uh, again, to me, it just makes dupes feel a little bit more useful now. But again, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day.